Okay, so this is something I've been promising for a while. It's a review of my Turn Arcade arcade cabinet. This uh, particular cabinet is the uh, it's the Slimline King, but it's the sort of uber pimped up Slimline King with the extra size uh, monitor. What I'll do is I'll switch the thing on first off, which is by a little button up here. I don't know if you can see it. So we'll start that. Uh, booting up there what I what I went for this is the like I say I've got went for pretty much all the trimmings I could go for it's the four player cabinet here with a trackball didn't have the spinner and I didn't have the coin slot down the bottom I could have had a little coin slot where you'd have to put a, a coin in every time the other big pimping I went for was that the Slimline King comes with either a 19 or 22 inch monitor this has got a 32 inch uh, screen this is a 32 inch tv in here and it gives an absolutely fantastic picture the fact that it's a tv screen rather than an actual computer monitor makes absolutely no difference i mean when you think about the resolutions that most of these arcade games play at um you know that most of the games are playing at sort of three 320 by 240 or something along those lines so it really doesn't make any difference it's running the emulation software uh, that Craig Turner installs with it so the theme that I went for was a Street Fighter X Tekken theme I'll show you with the lights off so you can see how it looks with the lights off and you can see it looks mighty fine uh, you've got uh, You've got the lit marquee up there at the top. You've got all the lit buttons and the lit trackball there. Uh, I'll put the lights back on because what I'll show you is I'll show you the artwork at the side. Like I say, it's a Street Fighter X Tekken theme uh, that I went for. You know, you tell Craig Turner what kind of theme you want, and he will design you the artwork, he'll show you the artwork, and uh, and if you're happy with it, then he goes with it. And uh, I've gone for the Street Fighter X Tekken, it's not actually an arcade game but of course Street Fighter and Tekken are two uh, games with a fantastic arcade heritage and we've got M. Bison uh, on the side there uh, and another picture, that was actually off DeviantArt there, I have somebody on DeviantArt to thank for that picture of M. Bison I didn't carry M. Bison onto this side, I thought if I carried M. Bison on this side somebody would probably think I'm some kind of fucking neo-Nazi or something so we've got Hiachi Mishima, so we've got one of the the top boss characters, uh, bad boss characters really uh, from Tekken on one side and, and from Street Fighter on the other and then the theme also carries on uh, onto the control panel there and what a fantastic job that is uh, and then we've got, it's not so easy to see, you've got the theme around the side there and then of course the marquee at the top um, let me show you inside the machine because that's kind of interesting. I've made a couple of little alterations here. The first is a little hook on the top there just to hold these keys. You can get into these machines at the back. This is the slimline version by the way. So it's, it's an arcade cabinet design but it doesn't have a cathode ray tube in so it's a little bit thinner. Uh, than a traditional cabinet so it doesn't stick out quite so much in your room. There is a panel at the back there so that you can get to the uh, monitor at the back and then there's a panel here at the front so if we open this up you'll see one of the little uh, additional bits that I've done which is this didn't come with it this little this little shelf I've installed that shelf uh, so that I can tweak the game settings and everything uh, with a mouse and keyboard you can see the computer innards there uh, which it comes installed with uh, and the sound system there that's the subwoofer and the internal wiring obviously then runs up to the cabinet to the monitor and to everything else so we can shut that up there the other little uh, addition I made was on the control panel which is that I don't know if you can see there I've put some little brackets there, some little hinges, uh, well yeah little clasps I should say because uh, I just feel it makes the control panel a little bit more secure the control panel flips up on these and that's really important because uh, what it allows you to do is to get to the gubbins at the back now why would you want to get to the gubbins at the back well one of the reasons you want to get to the gubbins at the back is with these joysticks you can undo these screws and move the plate round on the joystick and that turns the joystick from an eight way joystick these are all presently in their eight way settings to a four way setting so at the moment you can hit those diagonals problem is games like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man hitting those diagonals makes the game not work very well 
Um, so one thing you can do is to have a panel, a panel made with a bespoke four-way joystick, or the other thing is, if you're going to play one of those games, you lift the panel up, turn that little plate round, and then it makes it into a four-way joystick, and those games work really well. Um, so maybe we can get a game working. I did have Marble Madness up there, so if we set Marble Madness running there, uh, just click on the button there, and up we go. And before we know it, we've got Marble Madness. Marble Madness is quite a good. Let's turn the lights off and just have a, a little moment of, of marble madness, shall we, there. So if we give that, we put a bit of money in there. Good game to demo because it's, uh, I can play it with one hand. It's a bit like, it's one of the few bits of fun that you can have other than masturbating with one hand. Uh, although, of course, I wouldn't really want to be masturbating on this particular video. So, or indeed any video. Uh, so there you go, marble madness there, slinging it along. So there you go, brilliant. And as I say, went for the 32 inch monitor because it makes all the difference when you've got four players around it. And also, let me end that. You know, a lot of arcade games, of course, are in a vertical format. The screen's in a vertical format. And there you benefit from the size of the screen. If you only had a 19 or 22 inch screen, when you've got a, like a vertical shooter or something where the screen's vertical, you've only got a very small band of screen. So that's the machine. Um, what I will do is I'll leave a, a link to Turn Arcade site so you can, if you're interested in these kind of things, I know he's going to start up production sometime again this year. He is moving to new premises, I know that. And uh, so then you can get in touch with him if you're interested. This costs just a little bit over £2,000 for this. More than my original, I, I originally was going to buy a machine off him for about half that price. Um, I, I'm probably going to make a little video on my Patreon feed actually explaining exactly how that, this all came about with regard to that. So if you are on my Patreons you can find out about that. If you're interested in one of these things, get in touch with Craig Turner. He's done a really fantastic job. Any quibbles with it? Yeah. Couple of little quibbles, I suppose. The first thing is, is that these buttons, I had to redo the stickers on these buttons. I don't know if you can even see. Yeah, they're too bright. These, these buttons have a little man in them. Uh, to show how many players and they're basically a little disc they're just printed on a little disc and the disc is quite loose and it tends to rotate round I reprinted them out on some um, transparency film that was sticky sticky backed and so then just they're actually attached into the button stuck down rather than loose and so they won't rotate anymore you know maybe that's something you ought to do a little bit differently you can maybe also see that there are a couple of areas where the sticker has bubbled slightly and the reason for that is he did say you may have to try and put it down because it's stuck on in such a cold uh, workshop you know well maybe the workshop just needs to be a little bit warmer uh, when it's stuck down and, and then that wouldn't be so much of an issue because that's a little bit of a shame um, other than that really everything is exactly what you would want he describes these things he describes his company as a hobbyist company so he says look you're not going to get something that is made to absolutely commercial standards you've got to accept that but it's still a fantastic bit of work this is a bespoke cabinet that, it, that I've had made I, I chose the mouldings uh, I chose the design uh, and I could choose exactly what options that I wanted on there so that's absolutely fantastic anyway I'll leave you a link if anybody's interested uh, and that is my cabinet